Hey guys, uh, welcome to College Nated Engineering with Bongani Gumede. So today we'll be doing a sequence four. We have done sequence three, two, and sequence one. So today we are doing sequence four. And um, I won't be drawing uh, the main circuit. I'll only draw the control circuit because of uh, the main circuit remains the same for most of the sequences, if not all of them. So this is our sequence four. It says that motor two must start after motor one has started. Then both motors can be stopped independently. When motor one is stopped while motor two is running, uh, motor one cannot be restarted. Yeah. So let's go. And here you'll have your line, or you can say control breakers, still fine. Um, and then you'll have your 95 and 96, you overload one here. And then you have your 95, and you have your 96 overload two. And then you have your emergency stop button. And then, yeah. Let me explain something before we move forward. Always try drawing direct online first before, uh, including those normal open or normal closes that you you want to include. First, start by drawing a direct online. Our right hand side will be for motor two and our left hand side will be for motor one. So we are drawing direct online first. You have your stop one and you have your start two Key one, and then this one can go to your line or to your, uh, to your neutral. And you have your stop two. And then you have your start one. You have your start two. And you see K2, A1, A2, then A1, A2, uh, start one, then start two. You have your normal open of K2. And uh, let's see, everything is there. Yeah, that's it. You can see 13, 14, 3, 4, your 13, your 14 your three and your four. Yeah, so that's it. This is a direct online, this side, and that side is also a direct online. So this side we said will be for motor two, and this side will be for motor one. So the first statement says, motor two must start after motor one. So what we can do is to introduce a normal open, a normal open of K1. So which means that when this coil energizes, this one, this normal open will become a normal close, so that it will be able to start your motor. But if you stop motor one, motor two will also stop. Remember it says both motors can be stopped independently. So we are going to introduce this normal open here. We introduce the normal open here, so it will be a normal open of K1. So when this coil is energized of, of motor one, this one will become a normally close, and then you'll be able to start your motor two after motor one is started. And when you stop motor one, motor two won't stop, and when you stop motor two, motor one won't stop. So uh, here's another thing, uh, another statement which says when motor one is stopped while motor two is still running, motor one cannot be restarted. So it means that uh, when both motors are running, you must not be able to restart motor one once you stop it. So let's say uh, you decide to stop your motor one and motor two is running. You must not be able to restart this motor one. So what we're going to do, we're going to introduce a normally closed, a normally closed, normally closed of K2. So this is what is going to happen. This is how it must, uh, your control circuit must be. So let me just explain the operation. When you press the start button, your coil energizes of motor one. It energizes, and when this coil energizes, 
your retainer will retain also. It becomes a normally closed. And what happens is that also this one will become a normally closed, no longer a normally open. So you have your motor one that is running now. So then you come and press the start button this side. Uh, your coil energizes and your retainer, it retains. And now it's no longer a normally open, it's now a normally closed. And then uh, your motor is running, your motor two is running, and your motor one is running. But remember, when this one is energized, remember this one, the normally closed, will become normally open also. So you have a normally open here. So both motors are running, are running perfect. But then you decide to say, you know what, let me stop motor one. And then when you stop motor one, what it happens is that the coil de-energize. De-energize. And when your coil de-energize, it means that this normally closed now becomes a normal open. And when this normal open, a normal closed becomes a normal open, this one here will become a normal open because of its 4K1. Comes a normal open. Um, yeah, that's it. So you have stopped your motor, and then obviously this button will will come back and be like this. And then you, you say, "Ish, but uh, let me let me restart motor one." And remember, your motor two is running. Your motor two has not stopped. Then you decide to say, "Ah, let me restart." You try to press the start button. When you press the start button, you say, "P." Ah, uh, current tries to run here and it finds, oh, it's a normal open. And then it says, oh, let me run through here. It's a normal open also. So you can't start motor one. But this is the, uh, the interesting part. If you decide to stop motor two, this coil will de-energize. And when the coil de-energize, what will happen here? It will become a normally closed now. And when it's a normally closed, now you can start the motor one. So that's it. Very simple. Just have to understand that when uh, you energize a coil, its contact have to change the position. Normally closed becomes normally open, and normal open becomes normally closed. So on the side of motor two, we put a normal open, and on the side of motor one, we put a normally closed. Thank you. That's it. Uh, let's meet on the next video, which will be sequence five. Chap, chap.